Hi everyone, so I'm going to go over how to deploy a Next.js app um, by having your code on GitHub and then um, getting a URL online on Vercel. So then you're able to share that URL with anyone around the world. So first off, let's create the actual uh, Next application. So we'll do CD desktop. Then we'll have to create the Next application. We'll have to do npx create next app and we'll just call it web enter and you'll see that's gonna download and install a bunch of files and folders in the web folder that we have created so it'll just take a few minutes here until it is done creating that web app It's just taking me a little bit longer because I'm recording at the same time. And once it's done, you'll see it says success and that it has been done being created. So you'll see the web app right there. Next, what we want to do is let's test out that app that we just um, created. So let's go CD web and we'll do NPM run dev. and it'll start up a server for you. It says right here, the URL for it. So you can grab that URL, copy it. Next, open it up in a browser. So I'll show you what it looks like right now. So once it's done loading, you'll see it says, welcome to Next.js. And this is like a default template to the application that has been created. And what we can do is we can actually uh, modify this as needed just by going into Visual Studio Code here and actually let us stop this. So just Control C or Command C, depending on what um, device you're using. And then what we'll do is we'll do um, code dot so we can just open it up in a new Visual Studio and we can see the files. So once it's done loading here, I'm just going to exit the old one. And you can actually see, and if your code dot doesn't work, you can just drag and drop it over. And um, if you want help um, getting that code dot to work, you can come see me um, after class, during class, or whenever my office hours is. Now, in order to actually um, modify what's showing on the computer or on the display screen, you have to go, so let's open up a new terminal. And we're gonna click on pages, index.js. And what you can do is scroll down. And let me just expand this a little bit. And in the code, you can see where the welcome sign was. And you can replace that with, um, hi, my, my name is Monica. Save it. And then here in the terminal, we can do npm. OK, so it looks like I accidentally got rid of one of the tags. So make sure you have the opening and closing tags. I got rid of that opening tag, so I have to get rid of the um, closing tag. So make sure there's no errors. So npm run dev in the actual terminal. Enter. Now it says it's, now it says it's at localhost 3000 again. So let's go back to the browser. Refresh it. And as you can see, the title has been updated. And um, depending on what the lab requirements are, you may need to change some of these areas as well and just follow that example. But now let's actually deploy it to Vercel. So now that we got this code um, looking good on our browser, our local host browser here, um, we can now actually just deploy this code onto GitHub. And in order to do this, um, we need to, I'm going to first stop this server. So control C or command C, whatever 
um, computer you're using and why yes to stop. So now what we want to do is actually put this on GitHub first and let's go to GitHub. So make sure you have your account signed in. And I'm just going to, let's go to my profile. So here um, you can add more repositories by clicking that plus sign up here, new repository. And I'll just call this um, MDIA, you can call it whatever you'd like, MDIA 1620 Vercel example. And, or just follow whatever's in the actual documentation of the lab. And I will not add the readme file right now because it's already in the, um, the Next.js app. So just create repository. And then you should get a brand new um, repository here. So all you have to do is make sure it's HTTPS and copy this, copy this um, entire thing. And now let's go back to here and let's just CD, go back to our desktop and we'll just say git clone and then paste that URL, enter. All I did was clone the actual repository to my desktop. So if we go over here, you can see that I have that MDIA folder here, a uh, Vercel example here. And what we wanna do is let's actually go inside that folder. So I'm just going to copy that name of the folder and in the terminal here, I'm just gonna type CD and that folder name to go inside that folder name. And what I'll do, because it's empty right now, that web that we've just created, I'm just gonna double click it, open it up, and you should see this, these um, folders and files right here. So it should contain all of the items that we've just set up. And what we wanna do is copy all of this, and then we wanna um, drag it into that MDIA folder that we've just created or cloned on our desktop and it says try again because we have to close this um, Visual Studio code because it's open right now. So let me just close it. And I'll say try again and let it go. There we go. So now if I close this and then I open the MDIA folder, you should see all of our code now got transferred into here and that's what we want. Now what we want to do is go back to Visual Studio Code, open it up, and you should still see the folder that we've worked with, which is the MDIA folder. If not, then we're just going to have to open up a new browser. Okay, so that's the web one, so we'll just go new window. Let's close that old one. And I'm just going to drag this over once it's done loading. So just drag that MDIA folder over and then drop it there. So then it shows up, shows up all of our files and folders that are inside that MDIA folder. Now let's expand this. What I want to do now is I want to first open up a terminal and what I want to do is what I want to do now is I want to add this to GitHub. So I'll just say git add dot then I'll say git commit dash m new files and folders. Now say git push. And it should, when it's complete, it should say main to main. So that arrow, it, that means it's complete. And if we actually go back to our browser and we refresh this repository, you can see here that all of our code has now been added onto GitHub. 
So if you've done it right, you'll see all of these files and folders here, and that is an indication that you have done it right. Now that we have actually added all of our files and folders from the Next.js app, what we want to do is we want to go to Vercel. So let's just type Vercel, go to the browser, and then um, we'll just click on this. So we should get to this Vercel website, and I'm going to log into my account. And once you get here, I would suggest you continue with your GitHub account. Now, don't worry about all this other stuff. I was just testing other things, but it will be empty for you. And all you do on all you want to do is click add new at the top right there will be add new button and click project click on this word project when you add new now it's going to say import git repository so we want to import from somewhere which will be github so continue with github and from here you're going to see a bunch of different areas. Um, let me just see here. What did we call it? We called it 1620 Vercel example. So 1620 Vercel example you'll see right here. And just click import. Now right here you can call this anything you'd like. We'll just say um, next JS test or whatever is on the lab just name it that or if you can't get it working just put something there just make sure there's dashes in between and it has to be all lowercase and just leave all of this the same don't change anything else and just click deploy now it'll take a few seconds or a few minutes to just deploy and build everything that it needs So once it's done, it'll automatically go to this page here. It says congratulations, and it even gives you like a small little preview as to what it'll look like. So first click on continue to dashboard at the top. Now just wait for it to load. And right here, this is like a dashboard for this specific application we've just deployed. And you'll see a little preview, you'll see some information here. And all we want to do is, once it's all set up, just click on visit at the top right corner. And now you can see here, this is exactly what we've done. And we've changed, hi, my name is Monica, and it has all this other information. Depending on how I want you guys to set up yours, um, what specific information, just follow that um, lab assignment. But this is now how you sign this is how you create the um, HTTPS URL using Vercel. You can see it's a secure um, URL that's given to you. And now you can share this link with anyone around the world. And you can see whatever has been deployed is on screen.